Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Killsteam. I am back with a brand new Call of Duty Modern Warfare video for you guys today. And in today's video, we have some brand new information about crossplay, spec ops, and much more. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So as you see, I have some nice Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay in the background for you guys. Very, very good gameplay from me on Winter Crash. So let's go ahead and jump right into the first piece of information. Now this regards crossplay. So crossplay is kind of foggy at the moment but now we kind of have a more clearer picture on how it's going to work inside of call of duty modern warfare okay so crossplay in modern warfare is supposed to work like fortnite it's supposed to be very similar and it kind of acts like if you have a console and you have a controller you're going to be paired with other people who have a controller and a console but if somehow some way you want to play with a pc friend they join the party then you are prone to get in lobbies of pc people and pc people against console people PC players are obviously going to win because they have better FPS, they have better um, frames and stuff, they have a better uh, like field of view and everything like that. They have a lot of better stuff with the mouse and everything for more better, I guess, precise aims and everything like that, precise targeting. And it's really just overall sort of like unfair against a, like a controller. I mean, it's not going to be very like a crazy difference and stuff like that, but it is going to be, you're going to see a difference there and it is going to be a little bit unfair there. And it looks like the, uh, yeah, that's how it's going to work. It's not going to be too crazy. Like, you're not going to be getting in PC matches all the time and stuff. Only if you have a friend that has a controller. And same thing goes for the PC players as well. If they join the lobby, if one person has a controller and join the lobby of a, a full of PC players, then that means the whole, I guess, party is prone to get in matches of both PC and and console players. So today on the E3 broadcast for YouTube, the I believe some of the developers went on and talked a little bit about Modern Warfare, and they talked about how realistic it's gonna be, how I guess 100% realistic inside, it's scanned from real life because of this new, I guess, AI technology they're using or something like that. It's supposed to be a very, very up-to-date and state-of-the-art technology for this game's graphics. And also, it does look like the whole game is gonna be one consistent universe throughout the entirety of the game. So if we you're playing in multiplayer co-op or single player you're going to be in the same world with the same rules one piece of equipment and weapon works the same across all modes of the game so that is what they are saying about this game everything is going to be connected with the same rules the same stuff like that and it looks like Treyarch games are the complete opposite of this so we're going to have a really different feel for all these modes i guess for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It's not going to feel like a different thing for every single mode. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We're going to have to wait and see about that one. Also, they commented on the campaign. And they said you get to play as Tier 1 Operators and Rebel Freedom Fighters in Modern Warfare campaign. Playing as Tier 1, you get the highest tech available today. NVG, airstrikes, and etc. But when you're playing as the Rebel Fighters, aka Terrorists. Um, I mean, that's what they basically are in this game. You have limited technology have to stick it to ground warfare so that kind of makes sense and they're really 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 going for the realism and trying to emphasize the realism of today's world so i'm really curious on how the media and stuff is going to react to all this there's supposed to be collateral damage against civilians and all this crazy stuff in this game and you have like your own choices in the game to pick whether to shoot somebody or not i mean it sounds really really crazy and far out there so we're gonna have to wait and to see and to get more information on this soon also guys spec ops is now 100 percent confirmed the developer on stream said it himself and then he commented about saying spec ops like you have never seen before it is cranked up to the 11th power with features and how the new mo the new mode works in call of duty modern warfare so it looks like the campaign is itself is going to tie into and carry over into this new spec ops mode and it looks like we're going to be receiving more information on this on June 11th. So June 11th is when the main panel for Call of Duty Modern Warfare is. And that's where we're going to be getting really all of the information. It's going to take place at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Time. So yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. And it looks like Spec Ops is returning and it's supposed to be back better than ever. And I really hope they can do more with this mode because they really could have done more with this mode back in the day, but they didn't have the manpower, the support, the whole team. And now they have the technology and so on to make this node, this mode really better than it really ever was ever before so i'm really excited to see how this new mode spec ops i guess revamped is going to act like in call of duty modern warfare so yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video stay tuned guys because tuesday we have a really big day of call of duty
Duty Modern Warfare. I'll see you guys there. Hit the like button down below, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.